Right, so we'll start now. Hello everyone and thank you for joining this webinar on social media for business process outsourcers. My name is Courtney James and I'm the marketing manager at Integrity. Today's webinar will provide an overview of Integrity's program for BPOs, offering you the opportunity to white label our social media solution SMC4 and enable you to expand your cloud services and customer opportunities. There's been a lot of interest in our social media solution as a very profitable revenue stream. Today our speakers will be Michelle Cassidy from Integrity, who is our social media product manager, who looks after and markets our social media product, SMC4. Our second speaker is Pete Denim from Bantech, who is the Global Solutions Director. Bantech are a global leader in payments, document and content processing solutions and outsourcing services. The agenda for today's webinar will include Michelle discussing Integrity's partnering program and introducing Integrity and our social media solution SMC4 to you. We will be discussing Bantech's journey with SMC4 and looking at the marketplace. And we will also be discussing clients' challenges and needs for social media monitoring and what opportunities SMC4 has provided. So I'll pass you over to Michelle now. Great, thanks Courtney. Um, so let me just go to the next slide. So I wanted to just give everyone um, a quick overview as to who Integrity are and then we'll talk about the program and our social media solution. So the first half of this um, presentation is, is really to give um, all of our potential partners, business process outsource, an understanding of where we've come from as a business and how we've evolved into the social media world. So we have, for the last 13 or so years, been helping our partners and direct customers capture lots of different types of content. And social media and SMS content is the new type of content that our clients and partners need to manage and capture easily and quickly and get a return from. We're also experts in consolidation, so when we work with partners and their customers, we recognize that they have social media content and other types of content all across the business, and we're able to drive efficiencies and reduce operational costs in managing that content, again, trying to realize the value from it. In total, we enable our partners to provide solutions that enable their clients to communicate really easily with content, so internally collaborating, finding the right necessary collaterals they need and knowledge bases they need to access, and then being able to use social media as a channel to communicate with their customers, which now there's a huge expectation for all um, organizations to do. Under the covers of our social media solution and our content management solution, we have a, a complete lifecycle management compliance uh, solution that enables us to capture and audit every type of change that is made by all users of, of the system. And this ticks the regulatory compliance box as well as the corporate governance box. So everyone can sleep sound at night knowing that the compliance is adhered to for, to meet strict regulations. Our services that we offer for content management and for social media management are in the cloud. So that means that we can help our partners and our customers deploy our solutions really quickly and get to market fast. So we'll talk about that in the next slide. So our, our partnering program, this is to give you an overview of, of what it entails. First of all, it's very financially rewarding. We have some very attractive margins that we offer our partners, our business process outsourcers. So that enables you to cover your cost of sale, to make profit, um, and you'll see that these are actually very profitable revenue streams when you look at cloud services and particularly social media. One of the other financial rewarding areas is that you have the ability then to take this new um, solution to market very quickly to existing customers and your new business development teams can target new customers with this. So it's great, you can start having new conversations in new lines of business like the marketing communications teams or in the customer service and experience teams and actually trying to leverage the um, opportunities that you have within the accounts that you work in. And Bank Tech will talk about some of their customers and, and how they're achieving that. 
we help you get to market fast. So we recognize that you need to educate your sales team. So we will be here. Integrity will work with you to join your sales team meetings, to provide you with education, whether it's online or face-to-face, -face, but really enable your sales teams to be able to easily go out there and communicate all of the sales messages to ensure that they can drive new opportunities and pipeline. So as part of that, we share our sales and marketing collaterals with our partners. So that's available in a partner portal that we provide. And that could be anything from sales briefs to brochures to competitive materials, because we recognize that you may not be FA and comfortable with necessarily talking to these new departments um, that have new messages that your sales team need to learn. And also, you'll come up against competitors that you're probably not used to bumping into. So we provide you with all the intelligence to get you going really fast. Once you're driving pipeline opportunity, often customers will want to try the solution. So they want to try social media monitoring uh, for probably a limited amount of time. So we can support that, um, and you can drive your customers to trial our social media solution in our cloud. And then if you're running campaigns, um, you can share some of our campaign and collateral materials, but we also provide all of our partners with landing pages. So you can customize these and the content of them and brand them as if they were part of your own site. And when you drive traffic to our cloud service for social media monitoring, we're able to actually track that that lead has come from you, that registration has come from you, and that payment from that customer has come from you. So that's, that's all in there, and that's really easy, and it's all automated. So the third point is that we, we get you up and running really fast. So a customer can access their social media monitoring solution within a few hours. And if they wanted to expand that and incorporate that with content management, then we can offer that within 72 hours. So it's really fast. And to start with, a lot of our partners and business process outsourcers, they want to host their customers on our shared service. So that's not a problem at all. That gets you up and running. That takes a lot of the risk and hassle out of it. Um, and then further down the line, if you want to actually own social media service on your own platform, in your own cloud, then you can do that. And we can work with you to train and educate you and support you to realizing that. And lastly, um, we help you personalize the solution itself. So this is a social media solution that you can white label. So you can completely brand this solution as if it were your own. And that goes for not just the web-based social media monitoring application, but also the mobile application too. So now I want to just give you an overview of SMC4, and that's our social media solution. And as I was saying, we have come from the content management world. So this wheel here on the right-hand side, this shows uh, our all-encompassing solution called Knowledge Capture Online. And we're talking today about this one particular social media module that's highlighted. Um, but our customers and our partners do have the ability to also leverage some of the KC Online capabilities as well. So they can start integrating it with some of the line of business applications for accounts payable, human resources, complaints handling, etc. And they can also leverage some of the robust workflow that's in place for managing cases within the business and ensuring that all of those processes are followed through. So SMC4, if we look at it, uh, it really is encompassed by five key areas. Um, the first area is a single sign-on. So that's important because you want to ensure the integrity of using social media and the control of all of your inbound and outbound messages so that you can protect the reputation and brand of your organization and don't share your social media accounts, your usernames and passwords with lots of different team members. So it ensures that we audit everything that is um, sent, which is posted or responded to back to a customer by your staff. Um, and if you're uh, a partner that works with clients who work in heavily regulated industries like financial services or pharmaceuticals, then this is ideal. This is exactly what they need. Point two talks about the controls and supervision that we have out of the box. So we can offer um, the ability to uh, have supervisors approve content 
uh, before it's go, it goes back to a customer. We also offer options to provide pre-approved content, so a compliance manager or marketing communications manager might pre-approve content that the team can use and respond really quickly, again, if they're working in a very regulatory um, uh, industry. Point three is talking about auditing, controlling, and reporting on social media communication. So while everyone focuses on we need to listen to our customers and we need to engage with our customers, actually what SMC4 does under the covers enables you to sleep at night. It audits every action that's taken across the system. And it provides that level of control so that you don't have to worry about what your staff are saying. We have the controls in place to support your organization. Point four is about e-discovery. So all of the social media messages are captured, are stored in a central repository, and then we provide e-discovery capabilities so that if you have an e-discovery request, um, you have an audit, or your regulators come into the business, you're able to very quickly and easily find all the social media messages that are, are part of that inquiry and you can package that up and share that with the relevant parties. Point five is talking about life cycle control. So we recognize that, again, while you want to communicate with your customers and engage with them and generate leads and manage complaints, actually what you do need to do is ensure that you keep everything that you need to for a period of time, but also try to remove the administrative headache so that you put policies in place that automate uh, the disposal of those messages and that content as well. So um, I've got a couple of screenshots throughout this um, presentation. Um, this is showing you SMC4, and this is our social media inbox. And we really help customers and our partners provide a solution that improves customer service. It's really one of our key focus areas. So here there's an example of two uh, messages that have come in to Hampshire Bank. One is a customer complaint, and here one is just a, an inquiry about a financial product. So we can set up a number of rules that automate uh, the processes of how we respond back to the customer, how we prioritize this message, and I'll show you an example of that a little further on. But the point here is that it's a really simple, intuitive tool to use for business users, not for technical at all. And uh, this is all available in the cloud, out of the box, you know, within a matter of hours. Um, it's really easy also for um, you to find your social media messages. On the right-hand side, we have a number of filter options. So you can filter the conversations by social network, by priority, by social media account, by date range. So SMC4 provides protection against social media abuse and brand damage. It helps you protect your brand and reputation. But how does it do that? So it um, listens and it monitors all inbound and outbound social media messages. And it's looking for inappropriate language, so profanity or any racist or sexist comments. And we have a number of dictionaries that um, have the keywords and phrases that look, do a look up as these messages come in to see actually does it contain any offensive or inappropriate communication. And we have rules that enable you to hide or to delete that communication. So that's really important because what our customers are finding is that these situations can go viral when you have service outages, when you're not able to service your customers as you typically would you know, they do take to Twitter, they do take to Facebook, and you need to manage and contain that. And when they're also posting and commenting on very sensitive um, topics, again, you want to make sure that you don't have that kind of inappropriate communication on your social media accounts. You've spent all this time building a brand and a very positive reputation and building engagement online and building your communities. You don't want it ruined in a matter of minutes or hours. And we've had some clients, um, unfortunately, who have been affected in that way. So how you can do that in SMC4 is very simple. Um, you can configure a number of rules, very easy for any business user to do. And you'll see here on the, we have a number of existing actions. So we've set some actions up for our Hampshire bank account that handles complaints. So we have auto replies, we can auto prioritize, we can send auto notifications, we can create a complaints case. 
But in terms of brand and reputation protection, um, where profanity is concerned, here at the bottom you can see that we could just simply hide that message. We might also send an auto reply back to the person who's posted it to say, due to our social media policy, we don't accept or publish this type of message. Um, so that's hidden from your social media pages. So we, as I was talking about, we've got a number of auto actions, automatic responses that we can send, and we've got some very robust workflow. So this diagram shows literally how this works. Our social media messages come into SMC4, they go through our analytics engine, and that does a number of things. So it analyzes the content of the message, it looks up the, the content, the keywords, the phrases against our industry dictionaries, which we have for insurance and banking, retail, public sector. It then also looks to see if it should prioritize or route that message to a specific person if we've created those rules. And then it will action a number of workflows, however we've set that up. Um, and that workflow could be as simple as just notifying a certain team like your sales team but it could also be kicking off actually, let's say, a complaints process. So how does SMC4 help you or help your customers respond faster? So literally, once you've set up these rules, within a second, SMC4 will automate a lot of this work that a lot of other tools um, expect you to do manually. So it'll auto-categorize, it will send auto replies, it will auto prioritize, it will send auto notifications via email, and it will either integrate with your own case management systems, CRM systems, call center systems, or within with our own. It also enables you to be, and your customers to be really responsive and to deliver a personalized response. So we've talked about automating this process, but what does it look like? So for someone within the business who's using the social media monitoring tool, they can very easily see this is the customer complaint here, and then this was the automated response that was sent out, and this was the email that was sent internally to the relevant team to action it, and then you have the opportunity to reply. So what's nice is you can see the context of the conversation, you can see all the processes and the content that's been sent either externally from the business or internally. The point is that our customers and your customers and your customers' customers are, are expect, have a huge expectation of social media. They expect to be responded to very quickly. They expect a personalized response. Um, they expect to be heard and they expect that when you're on social media, you do communicate fast, probably faster than calling a call center. Um, so when you're on social media, you've got to make sure that you have all of these processes in place and it really does depend um, to what degree um, you are in terms of your social media strategy. So we touched on the uh, dictionaries, and this is a, a real USP for SMC4. We've got a number of industry dictionaries that provide a number of uh, key stop words and phrases that enable and protect and provide control to certain industries that want to embrace social media but also want to ensure that their staff don't post the wrong type of content um, and they can also capture anything that might be uh, inappropriate or to help them route the messages to the right people in their team such as sales leads or complaints. So where the marketing communications teams uh, get quite excited is, is more in this area. In, in publishing new content, whether that's new messages or new campaigns. And they have the ability to schedule media, social media posts. Um, and we've got a screenshot here of what our publishing capability looks like. So very easy, you can uh, type your new message in here, your new announcement or your new campaign. You can attach a URL and preview the images from that URL site. You can also upload images and preview those. And very simply then on the left hand side you can select the appropriate social media account you want to post the message to. You can analyze the content, so that's a bit of self-learning um, for the staff that are actually doing the publishing within the business and enables them to just check have we or are we about to publish anything that contains any stop words, anything that's inappropriate for our organization. 
and then very simply at the bottom they can schedule then that message to be sent by date and by time. Um, the controls in place, um, if they are set up as a, an agent um, with supervision, then this message would automatically go to their supervisor for approval. So you can see here on the right hand side where we have the pending box, there's 33 messages here for a supervisor to approve today. We also um, support SMC4 via a number of devices, so via desktop computers, also um, on mobile applications such as Android and iOS, so iPads, iPhones as well. And you can access all of the, this type of content, social media content and, and documents as well. We enable collaboration and um, this is really a, a real plus again for uh, marketing communications teams, customer service teams, complaints teams, sales teams, where you're collaborating on content internally and you need to be able to share that content really easily, maybe to satisfy an insurance claim or maybe to onboard a new customer who set up a new account or purchasing a new financial product um, or it could just be the marketing communications team who are collaborating on content to share with the rest of the business um, and ensure that it's, it's been through the, um, the governance process so that they can use it and they know it's all been approved and adheres to all of the rules and regulations they need to follow. So SMC4 um, is open to accessing our collaboration repository of all the content that they want to access and then enables them to post the social media messages or responses back to customers. So we support a, a whole vast amount of, of languages. Our analytics engine supports over 30 different languages. And in terms of our user interface, we now support English, French, Dutch, Spanish, and um, soon to be Arabic. So we can support your global customers, not just uh, from a user interface point of view, but also this is a tool that enables you know, our partners to target customers who are large, who are big, who do have lots of social media accounts that is becoming difficult to manage, that do need lots of different social media accounts for the different lines of business that they have or the different products that they have or for the different geographical regions that they support. So I just wanted to share with um, everyone uh, some of the capabilities that we've got coming up um, in the next two quarters. Um, we've seen a lot of growth in the law enforcement space, so we are going to be um, developing or in the middle of developing a specific law enforcement interface for that specific market. We're going to be adding some um, new social media channels, so we're going to be adding Instagram and support for SMS. And we, as I said before, we're going to be also bringing out an Arabic version of our user interface. We also plan to support LinkedIn company pages, so that will be good, so that will enable um, uh, organizations to post on their company pages, to do recruitment through LinkedIn and manage all of that in SMC4, um, and currently um, we're really able to add um, individual members of a business, such as the sales team and their profiles and their content, so that would be a great extension. We are also adding social media listening. So that's, that's going to be um, a critical module for, again, the um, marketing communications teams who want to understand what is being said about their brand, what is being said about the campaigns they're running, um, what is being said about their business, or actually just what, what is being said generally uh, around topics of interest to their company. We're also going to... Um, bring out a competitive monitoring module as well and this is really interesting because this will enable organizations to not just monitor the effectiveness of their own campaigns and their own customer engagement but those of their competitors and be able to benchmark that against their own efforts so that will be very insightful and the aim is to, to provide that insight to organizations so that they can differentiate their business. Um, in times actually where it is rather difficult to do that um, as social media and, and all of the content online is moving so fast and it is difficult for organizations where they're selling products or services to influence customers. So that's a great um, insightful module coming out. 
And then the last area is um, in the area of cyberbullying. So we slightly move out of your traditional um, social media monitoring use case. And this is really um, being taken up in the education sector and in the law enforcement sector currently, where they want to manage and monitor not just cyberbullying, but um, terrorism and crime. And so we have a, another flavor of SMC4 that enables them to do that. So I'm very pleased to hand over to Pete, who's going to talk about uh, Bank Tech's experience in outsourcing our social media solution to their own customers. I'll just hand over to Pete now. Hello, everyone. Right. Um, are you sharing my screen as well, Michelle? You are. Okay. Okay, so uh, my name is Pete Denham and I'm with uh, Bank Tech. And, uh, Michelle just asked me to talk um, about the relevance of, of social media generating uh, a business in the outsource space. Um, and there are very many uses for social media tools within outsourcing uh, in terms of interacting with your clients. But we're interested in how you can actually use um, social media and social media tools to generate a significant uh, and growing uh, business um, offering outsourced services to other clients. You may or may not be aware of Bank Tech. Um, we've been around a long time. Uh, we're primarily a provider to financial services business, and that's obviously where our background has come from. Um, but we've expanded over of other areas, and you can see on this slide, uh, we're quite a provider of government, transportation, uh, into the healthcare business, particularly in the US, and various other sectors as well. Um, we provide solutions that are installed on premises. We provide um, outsource solutions, and really our focus is working with our customers to try to find what works best um, in the environment that they have. They need. You can see we have a very large number of clients over a very wide geographical area, and those we operate um, more than 21 now, uh, different retail centers across the globe. Our delivery mode um, is that we are technology focused. We're not just about uh, labor arbitrage. We have very significant building on software and hardware solutions, and our approach is to take our own technology and integrate it with others to deliver um, either retail outsource services, um, on-premise solutions, um, software as a service, and in fact, increasingly, people are looking for a hybrid um, of several of those things, and we're seeing more and more demand for a mixture of some outsource, some in-source, cloud deployments and so on. You can see there our client list. Um, we work with some of the largest organizations um, in um, the US and in Europe and increasingly also across the Asia Pacific region. region. One of the areas uh, in which we provided both solutions and um, outsourced services is contact centers. And that's the obvious entry point for us into the whole world of social media. When we sit down and discuss social media with our clients, um, there are lots and lots of compelling reasons why they want to work with social media and work with it at a level um, beyond that which they're currently engaged with. Almost everybody is doing some kind of social media listening. Um, some sort of sentiment analysis. Um, but what we believe and what we see and what we hear from talking to people is that we are on the cusp of the next phase of social media where it becomes transactional in some sense. And I don't necessarily mean just a financial transaction. I mean that it will generate 
a need within the organization to kick off some kind of business process to service the requirement. It's not just going to be about listening, analyzing, and possibly responding to say, you know, thank you for your comment, we will take it on board. So there are lots and lots of reasons to engage in increasingly with social media channels. You can see here some facts and figures. Um, there's a general growing demand, and particularly for financial services organization, the demographic with whom they most want to be engaged, the people who really need loans, who are looking for first-time mortgages, and so on, are the people who are most likely to contact their, contact their bank via that means, and are the least afraid, in inverted commas, of engaging transactionally um, via these kinds of um, media. And a lot of um, banks have commented that they actually see social media as combining the sort of flexibility of deployment and the lack of infrastructure that they see on their kind of email channels, but with the intimacy and interactivity of the telephone. So they don't need to deploy huge telephony call centers, but they can get that sort of personal and direct interaction with customers via social media. And I think there's a general agreement, agreement that you know the volumes that they see coming in, whether they're actually acting on them today or not, are rising very quickly. And within a very short period of time, the current approaches that they have really won't um, allow them to, to interact with the customers in the way the customers are demanding. They're going to have to do something to address that need that is growing in the market. So there are lots of drivers there for financial services institutions and other organizations to engage with social media, but there are several big, draw, big drawbacks, and three in particular stand out, and, and these are what make people reluctant to actually open the door to doing business with people over social media. The first is obviously scale. It's much easier to send a social media message. It's, mu it's almost no effort for somebody to send you one. People are more inclined to send them because they usually send them from devices that are always on. They don't have to go and fire up their PC to send you an email. They don't have to go and find a letter and a stamp to send you a, a, a formal written communication. And as Michelle was saying, you have access to more information with social media. Um, with almost every other communication medium, basically you can only hear what your customers are saying directly to you. With social media, you have the opportunity to hear what they're saying about you, uh, what they're saying about your competition, what, what they're saying about the general business area in which you're engaged. So the potential scale um, is massive, and that is a concern for many organizations. The second problem um, is that of speed. Social media has completely transformed the concept of being responsive to your customers. In the good old days of post, you know, you were pretty impressed if somebody turned something around in two or three days. Even moving into the email world, people didn't get too impatient if they got a reply the next day. But really on social media, you might get a few hours, you might only have a few minutes. And Beyond that, your window of opportunity to properly engage with your clients may actually have gone. So the important thing is to be able to say something relevant, even if it's only limited, within those key response timeframes. And the biggest problem is that social media is essentially a shared medium, and this is. Um, something that people may or may not actually understand as the biggest risk. But in talking to compliance officers, in talking to risk management representatives, this is always the thing that comes up as the big problem with social media. And it's actually worse for organizations that don't realize that. Um, companies that we've been to have layers of approval and control 
over what might appear on their website, but they put social media tools in the hands of junior clerks um, to respond um, in public to some of their key customers. And as Michelle was saying, there are all sorts of possibilities for serious corporate damage, which can result um, from either unwitting or deliberate misuse of social media communications. This is a growing problem, and it's one that a lot of regulated businesses are starting to um, come down on pretty hard. Uh, I was speaking to the Financial Conduct Authority only a few weeks ago, and they are revising their guidelines again, um, and they, they did that only uh, a year ago. But they've come back to them, and they're going to make some of the um, punishments and penalties even more stringent uh, around misuse of social media. It's a big problem, and, and one that for many organizations is really the one that is stopping them moving um, social media on, on the scale that they would otherwise like to. So how does this relate to the outsourcing of social media? Well, there are a lot of positives. Um, from a company point of view, they're not uncomfortable necessarily with outsourcing their first response contact centers. That's something that a lot of organizations already do. And they want to be on social media, they want to get there quickly, but they possibly don't want to learn all about social media best practice. It isn't core to an awful lot of organizations' business to be able to do that. There are also positives in the sense that it may be a key to enabling them to reduce significantly on the costs that they have in dealing with um, customers through these kinds of contact centers. Um, a lot of the resistance to uh, offshoring of contact centers is actually based on um, the way that people sound on the telephone rather than their ability to deal with the problems that, they're being, uh, that are being addressed to them. Um, or, or, or the understanding of the messages that they're receiving. And as I said, social media provides that um, immediacy and interactivity of a telephone conversation, but without those oral barriers. So there is a big opportunity there, and I think people are seeing that, that, that they can actually balance cost with capability um, in a way that, that isn't necessarily possible with call centers. But given the risks, that I just talked about on the three pre previous slides. Um, people are nervous about taking that outsource step because a risk that you outsource is very often uh, a risk that you actually increase. And there has to be some way um, to justify that outsourcing, and that can only be through mitigating that risk. And the answer, as far as we can see, uh, is the only thing that can make a technology channel safer is more technology, which is where our um, relationship with integrity really comes in. We've already had a lot of conversations with our customers, both existing and prospective, that, that really drives towards outsourcing um, first contact and even second contact um, customer contact centers. And the only way that they're, that they're prepared to give us that business is if we can demonstrate that we can take those risks and we can eliminate or very largely mitigate them. And SMC4 is the ideal tool to actually provide that reassurance to clients. You've heard from Michelle about the major features of the product. So this idea of filtering some of the messages out being able to prioritize the ones that remain, being able to classify them um, so that you can route them to the appropriate people, That's, that goes a long way to addressing that problem of scale. Um, without some kind of technology like this in place that can do that analysis and classification of the messaging, that scale, 
that you are you are introducing by opening up the social media channel is going to swamp you. In terms of speed, the fact that you can create a relevant reply once you've analyzed and classified the message does give you that ability to respond very quickly and with something that the customer will feel is an appropriate response to their requirements. Um, whilst that gives you the opportunity to, to actually deal with the, the complaint or the inquiry or the request or whatever it is and actually come back with a full reply. And finally and most importantly that ability to filter messages for potentially harmful contact, uh, content, both those coming in but more particularly those going out is the key to addressing that compliance issue, to taking the risk away from quite junior people having the ability to publish information in an environment where the whole world can see it. So from our point of view, a technology like SMC4 was really the key thing to enable us to take a proposition around outsourcing social media contact centers to our clients. Say a technology like SMC4, so why did we choose in particular SMC4? Obviously and most importantly, it had that mix of features um, to support and, and address those three key issues that were being raised by the people we were talking to of scale, speed and security. Cloud hosted model obviously works well in conjunction with a VPO proposition. Um, there's a low capital expenditure requirement. It's a very easy sale to the CFO um, and, and, and in terms of fitting inside budgets, it's a very good um, pricing fit to, to the way that people are trying to get into the social media um, communication space. Integrity offer a very good partner model and strong support for their partners, which you've uh, also heard Michelle just talk about. Um, we would aim to operate, operate shared service centers um, and we also operate in countries where um, there are multiple languages in use, Belgium, Switzerland, Canada and some other ones and so that support for multi-languages is, is um, perfect for both of those scenarios. Integrity provided us with the option to white label the solution so that we can brand it um, as a bank tech product. And finally, um, because a lot of our outsource uh, involves our own uh, back office systems, our own workflow, document management, case management solutions, the fact that it had a very good integration platform um, allows us to build it seamlessly into um, that outsourced IT environment. So just finally to put it all together, um, we will we would <coughs> excuse me we will be using SMC4 in its cloud form to actually capture and channel and filter all the content coming into the contact centres from um, the clients that we've actually signed up for the outsource service. We would then provide a first responder team and with that integration capability and that move towards more transactional social media messaging we would then feed that um, social media into the various back office channels that we have within our outsource centers today. And from our perspective from the, provi the, the, the provider of the BPO services it allows us to then add social media channels to our existing clients for um, contact centers. It gives us something to go and talk to new prospects about, the fact that we can very easily build in social media channels is a differentiator from, um, from for our services from uh, other, certain other of our competitors. It gives us that capability to actually start to do transactional social media, an automated entry point into a complaints process or into um, a sales opportunity process or, or whatever whatever those back office um, systems that we have do. And as I said before, it enables us to look at right shoring um, initiatives. 
where we're looking to support multiple countries or people are demanding 24-hour cover, um, which you should do on a social media channel because um, people never sleep on social media. Um, and you need that capability to uh, effectively cover periods when perhaps onshore staff aren't working or are very expensive. Um, and the ability to distribute this through cloud technology to various centers gives us that 24-hour always-on capability. So from our perspective, there's a huge number of advantages to taking this approach using integrative technology um, to power uh, social media uh, outsourced contact centers. Okay. Thanks, Pete. That's fantastic. Thank you very much for sharing your experience so far with us. No problem. So I'll just, um, we just got a couple more slides um, just to go through to wrap up, but um, I, would, I would totally agree with some of the points that Pete raised. Um, there is tremendous pressure on organizations to deliver a first-class service now and to, to offer um, an extended service out of side of the contact center or extend that contact center service because of the immense growth of mobile and the high expectations that go with that from, from our customers. So being able to be extremely responsive and provide a personalized and relevant service. So it, it's more about, um, or it's not just about social media monitoring in isolation, but really bringing and uh, finding all the relevant content within the business and the right uh, skills within the business, the right people in the business, and making sure that you can resolve that customer's query or complaint or sales inquiry as quickly as possible. So thank you, Pete. That was really great. Um, I just want to uh, just talk about where you can find more information about our partner program. So if you go to smcapture.com slash partners.php, you'll see here we've got information um, that you can uh, download and read um, about our partner program. And um, also, if you want to contact anyone in the integrity team, whether it's about partnering with us or about the SMC for social media solution or some general marketing inquiries about how we can support you from a marketing perspective, then we've got all the contacts here of the team that you can access. And that's it from me. So um, thank you, Pete. And uh, over to you, Courtney. Thanks, Michelle and Pete. Um, since there's no questions currently, I'll, I'll close the call and thank you very much for your time on today's webinar. Thanks. Good, good day. Thanks. Good day.